feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. Hey everybody, welcome to the post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank. I'm your co-host, Ted Jenkins, sitting here with my co-host, Lee Heisman, today, and of course, our guest from Futurist. You've got the CEO and co-founder, Annie Eaton, and of course, Amy Stout, Director of Strategy. We talked all today about AR and VR, you know, all that cool stuff that you see people doing on TV today, and even the AR when Pokemon came out a few years ago. There's all sorts of a revolution that's happening here, and on The Shrimp Tank, every week, we bring you some of the brightest and best CEOs, owners, executive teams in and around the city of Atlanta and across the state of Georgia, where we talk about the do's and don'ts of starting, growing, and running a business. Because look, you have to get your MBA, right? Somewhere in entrepreneurship. Here, you can get it on the shrimp tank where you look at that cross section of book smarts and street smarts, and that's where it collides right here on the shrimp tank. So, you know, Ted, uh, Annie and Amy and their business landed a gig here at the Super Bowl in Atlanta this upcoming weekend. Super Bowl. I know. It's quite quite intriguing. Uh, and that seems like the fun part is doing virtual reality for the Super Bowl, but really the meat and potatoes of your business, if you want to talk about what Futurist does, it's for corporations and other businesses. Can you explain and expound on that a little bit? Yeah. So our company, Futurist, does virtual and augmented reality experiences, mostly interactive in nature, and we focused on product product visualization tools, training applications, uh, on-site assistance with these technologies. So while, yes, we do some fun projects, um, the one we're doing for the Super Bowl actually is an educational experience with United Way. Well, guys, we recently had a friend of ours that put together a book called The Millennial Whisperer. That was actually the name of the book. He's from here in Atlanta. And I'm wondering in, in a culture like a technology company with all of the Googles and Microsofts, what do you have to do in a technology company to get people to stay with you over the long term? Ooh, Amy and I actually worked on this quite a bit last year. So, Amy? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, with virtual reality, the cool thing is you have a viewer's full attention. So, you can capture their attention for a full three minutes, ten minutes, however right. long you want the experience to be. So, from a marketing perspective, this is incredible, an incredible opportunity. So, um, if you run a Facebook ad, they may look at your content for five seconds and then they're on to the next thing. Um, with virtual reality, you have their attention for the full duration. Um, with augmented reality, you also can capture their attention and keep them engaged by adding cool things in the screen that may be um, like an Easter egg so that they pay attention. Um, when so you show cool future employees their offices, can you just slap some goggles on them and give them a view of the Manhattan skyline and say, this is going to be your office? We probably you could. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we have a few little perks in the office that keep our employees entertained. And having the state-of-the-art AR, VR technology in the office that we allow them to utilize whenever they want is one of those perks. We have an arcade machine. Oh, um, we cool. really just want our employees to have... Uh, feel like they have a part in what we're creating. So we're very open to their ideas. They have a time set aside in their schedules that they can work on their own R&D projects um, outside of client projects. So it just keeps them excited and keeps them feeling like they're helping the business grow. Ted, I'll tell you this much. I think I might employ your services just for my home <laughs> so that I can get the full attention of my wife and kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because if I, idea, if I need yeah. virtual reality just for the five to seven minutes, I can't get more than 30 seconds. Put you the Eagles game. Which is Absolutely. Just like Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So ladies, if someone or a business business wants to get in touch with you and find out how they can utilize and, and obviously hire your company, how would they do so? They can visit us online at futurist.com or on any of the social platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, or just at the futurist, F-U-T-U-R-U-S. Very cool stuff. Uh, thanks for coming on the Shrimp Tank podcast today. And folks, this is the way that you need to think about your business. Put on those VR goggles, and this will sort of give you this vision of what your business could look like in the future before it actually gets there in reality. And that's sort of what the business you are today. And it's the business that you can be too as you grow your business as an entrepreneur. And thanks for watching the post show wrap up of the Shrimp Tank. I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank, big fish, small pond.